have a superconductor that's been cooled to negative 196 degrees Celsius. And when I place it in a magnetic field, it will levitate above that magnetic field and be locked in a position. You can literally just tile your bathroom with this and you wouldn't know the difference. It's, it's just a ceramic, but these properties are seen when it's at its critical temperature of negative 180 degrees. This goes right over top. So again, I'll just put this underneath just to show. It's levitating just above the surface where I placed it. Now I'm pinning it on an axis in the center. And I can spin it up along that axis and it will remain, again, at that height I set it at until it's warmed up. I can turn it upside down, it will stay locked. But this one, it, it doesn't last as long this way, of course, because now it's also fighting gravity. This is, this is my favorite demonstration because it ro locks on an axis and you can rotate it. And it will remain locked like that. Yeah. Or I can place it however I want in the magnetic field and it will remain locked wherever I place it. I can lock it in almost any position that I want. So let's say I want it locked on this angle. I can lock it like that. It all depends on how I place it above the magnetic field and it will stay there. Yeah, and then I can just put it the other way. And it will just stay like that. What you see just leaking off the side there is liquid nitrogen through the foam. And can you do that upside down? It, again, it doesn't last quite as long like this, so I just need to be a little careful. But the idea is the same. It's locked into position until it warms up. Yeah, see, so yeah, I'm, I'm losing some of the it will nitrogen. spin. But it will spin. I'll just lose... Uh, it will heat up much quicker because I'm losing the liquid nitrogen continuously at this point. Actually, it's lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> good question, Christy. Good question. Mm -hmm. That was a very good question.